Goedemorgen, mijn naam is Cassandra en ik is van Zuid-Afrika af. Um, I'm from a small coastal city in South Africa called East London and I come from a family of five. I was actually born 20 years after my uh, last brother so yeah needless to say I was very spoiled and protected. Um, I grew up in the church as well but when I turned 10 years old I would say that my protected environment was kind of uh, broken because my parents got a divorce and I didn't really understand why at the time but I remember going from being daddy's little girl to being someone who was very angry with him. And I remember throughout my teenage years, my mom just telling me, hey, don't be angry with your dad. He is your father and you need to honor him. And he loves God, but he's just battling this addic addiction deep down. So bless my mom and I just thank her for the gracious woman that she is and that she's taught me to be. And I hope one day I could be half as gracious. Um, so yeah, I spent most of my teenage years serving at the church, um, in the worship team, at youth, also in the children's ministry, and even though I was very happy and just happy serving and happy in my church family, I knew that I, deep down I was very upset at my dad. And this kind of carried through with me even when I moved to Calgary in 2017. I still, I left in good terms with my father, but I was still upset with him. Um, but in November of 2017, I really felt that God was working on my heart towards releasing my father. And one specific night, I remember coming to Tehila and I just heard that my dad wasn't doing too well in South Africa and I just had this huge burden that I had to pray for him, pray for his salvation and also just pray for me to release him. And that night I really felt that God was working on my heart and I felt that he broke that stone that was around my heart that he broke it away and I felt a lot of healing and restoration that night um, the following day we found out that my dad passed away in South Africa and we weren't I wasn't able to say goodbye which was very sad but our pastor our lead pastor from our church in South Africa contacted us and he said that my dad really honored my mom in his last in his last moments in life he really honored my mom and he also asked God for forgiveness again and he came back to the Father. So I'm really hopeful of seeing my father once again. And just throughout my whole journey here in Calgary, Canada, I really feel that I have grown in my relationship with God tremendously. And in 2019 specifically, I feel like that was a turning point for me in my faith with God. And God showed me in so many innumerable ways just how, like what a good father he is. Um, but I also just remember poignantly that I grew a deep relationship with the Holy Spirit and with Jesus as just being the lover of my soul and also my guide. Um, and it was just a really beautiful year filled with blessings and favor from God and I just thank Him so much for His faithfulness even in times when I wasn't faithful. Um, and, but 2019, as I said, it was a wonderful year. It was the year that I actually met my now fiance. And we didn't start dating right away, but we were friends and we hit it off right away, just knowing that we both came to First Assembly and grew part of the same church family. I think it really helped in letting us trust each other way more than we would have um, in any other circumstances. We, we grew together and we prayed together. We prayed for God's direction in our relationship because we just didn't want to take it lightly. And um, in 2020, we actually started dating and just continued to pray for God's direction in our relationship. At the end of 2020, we actually t had an opportunity to take on leadership at the FA Young Adults Community Group. And we've been doing that ever since and really just enjoying it. I've been enjoying being with my best friend, leading and just learning more about God and also learning more about people in our community. So that's been a blessing. And at the beginning of this year, we actually got engaged and we're really looking forward to just coming together in September of this year and becoming a court of three with our creator.